Hey guys, Carrie with K9 Camp here with another top tip for 2020. Today's tip is what you pet is what you get. It's that simple, guys. I know it sounds really basic, but it is really that simple. If your dog is very, very anxious and you're petting it, your dog will be more anxious. If your dog is um, scared and you're petting it, your dog will be more scared. If your dog is Sometimes if it's even hurt, sore, and you pet it, that could cause it to be more hurt, more sore. If your dog is um, showing aggressive tendencies, reacting to things, and you pet it, it's gonna cause it to react or show more aggressive tendencies. So it's super important to be aware. Uh, oh, the other one, if your dog is behaving badly, if it's jumping on you, if it's barking, if it's got something in its mouth and you pet it, that's gonna cause it to um, do those things more often. So it's super, super important, guys, to keep that really simple, those really simple words, that simple thought in mind when you're interacting with your dog. And <clears throat> work really hard to be conscious of your dog's state of mind before you interact, pet, coddle, um, speak affectionately to it because it's very opposite of people. So with us, when we're upset or um, anxious or scared, oftentimes that physical touch can help us to settle. It is the opposite with dogs. It almost... Um, completely oppositely ramps them up and makes their um, state of mind more heightened. And so if your dog jumps crazily on you all the time, then when the dog is up in your space, that's not the time to pet it. Even if you're excited and you're happy to see your dog and you haven't seen him for a long time. If your dog is scared and um, because there's a train or a noise that it hasn't heard before, that is not the time to pet your dog. Um, that's the time to be cool, confident, and calm. If your dog is, um, Again, you know, if you're walking down the street and your dog um, starts to growl at something because it's scared or because, you know, you believe it has a past that was um, less than stellar and so it's fearful of different things, um, you know, vehicles or men or you know, skateboards, wh whatever it is, um, and it starts to growl or cower or shake um, because of fear, that is not the time to pet your dog because what that does is reaffirms that those things are to be scared of. So it's super, super important. It's not a phrase that we coined or that we started. We got it from somebody else, another dog trainer, um, but it really stuck with us. It resonated with us. And so we share it with our clients all the time. So what you pet is what you get. So you want to pet your dog when it's in a, whatever state of mind that you want the most, which is cool, calm, collected, under control. Um, that is a time that you want to give your dog affection, pet your dog, and then you will get more of that. So very simply, what you pet is what you get. Have a great day. Bye.